So today I will be teaching you a very simple technique. <clears throat> Whatever we are doing is a lifestyle. It's not a religious, it's not a religion or a cult or anything. It's, it belongs to nothing. The, the, the process, it belongs to you. Because the whole process is to awaken, awaken the divinity within you. And the only <clears throat> purpose of my sojourn on this earth is to make you flower into the likeness of your own divinity. Each human being is like a septenary flower, you know, with his petals. He's like a lotus flower. The whole creation is like a lotus flower. When we said that in, in India, there are many symbols in the temples in India where they have big lotuses. So I was wondering, what is the lotus? So the creator <clears throat> is seen sitting on the lotus. So then people from the West and scientists and quantum physicists, they all go and say, so what is this? Creator sitting on a lotus and from the lotus creation is started and all. There's no scientific base to it. The other day, <clears throat> of course I knew that the lotus was the symbol of creation and dissolution when it, it dissolves into itself. The other day, I was watching a program on the television called the Cosmos, Nova, or the Cosmos. And in that there was being explained that before creation ends, or why, when it begins, there are two massive black holes. They're making a sound, dum, um, dum, 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 like the, you know what Shiva has in his hand, the hourglass drum. The drum is like this, like an hourglass, and it has two knobs tied to strings. Dum, 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 dum. How many of you have seen a dumb room that in the hands of Shiva? So those two black holes were beating against the canvas of space. Space and time was dissolving as these black holes came nearer. You know, and so they came and they they formed the lotus because the journey they took and bumped in. These were the petals of the lotus and it looked exactly like a lotus. So I said, these rishis, 10,000 years ago, were able to perceive by their intuitional mind in the, in the, with the insightful eye. They were able to perceive with the insightful eye these seers of the ancient of days, 10,000 years ago. I don't know whether America, what was the state of America and whether it existed or it was submerged or it was just came up. It must have been and from that time. Then I said, this is the lotus. And then the black holes, <laughs> both the black holes merged into one and they went, there was a silence. The sound in creation, they heard it on their supersonic computers and on their Hubble tele uh, telescopic machines and all this. So they are rediscovering the ancient mysteries which the sages discovered with the insightful eye and the superior extrasensory perceptions they are doing with NASA tools and superior elements. And lo and behold, I would give the ancients more credit because they did it with no equipment and these guys with this equipment are coming up with the same lotus and the same viver black hole which we call the great beyond time. Shiva is called the great beyond time. So the space-time continuum breaks in the black hole. Are you understanding what I'm saying basically? I? 